Welcome to the Smoking Grill Lounge. I'm Eric. And I'm Dave. And tonight we are doing the Rocky Patel 20th Anniversary Rothschild. Uh, the factory is Segovia Cigars SA. The wrapper is Honduras. The binder is Honduras. The filler is Honduras from Jama Stran Valley in Nicaragua, Esteli, and Jalapa. Four and a half by 50, and it's considered a Rothschild size cigar. Beautiful. Nice, uh, nice looking box press. Yeah. Little guy, little triple cap. I'm gonna blow some smoke rings for Mary here. All right. Here, Mary, they're for you. There we go. Mary said I had to get a video of myself blowing smoke rings, so. Really? Yeah. Well, it's a nice little cigar, natural. It's a natural, you know. It's Dave. very dark. It's very dark. Yeah. Um, I was getting tobacco, tobacco. A little caramel in there with that. Tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. Kind of caramely also. And on the light, I was getting my, uh, my customary vegetation. Nice smooth wrap though. It's a very nice looking cigar. Yeah, I like that box press and just, and it's a really clean wrapper. Yes, it sir. really is. It's got some splotchy, blotchy brindleness in there a little bit, but it's uh, very clean, very clean. Yeah, and so tonight, you know, we're, the reason why we're smoking a Rocky tonight, other than we haven't done one for a while, is that uh, this is our tribute to uh, Rocky Patel for his uh, efforts with the uh, FDA regulation. So I'm all, well, that's California. But no on 56. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, just wanted to pay homage to uh, the great Rocky Patel here for his so tireless over, efforts. Saw him all over Instagram. I, he was an attorney before at some point in his career, I, I understand. I believe so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, he understands all that stuff, so he's out there. Duking it out, trying to... Fighting for you. Fighting for y'all. Yeah. So uh, anyway, thank you, Rocky, for your great cigars and your uh, your uh, efforts there in Washington. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice little spiciness starting out with this sure thing. Sure is. You don't know, generals. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Get a little bit of a burn issue there, but we'll just flip it around. Let it burn. There let you it go. burn, let it burn, let it burn. Mm -hmm. So you see what we're trying to do here is, you know, we're trying to bring people in. I've been chatting with a couple of people on Instagram and they kind of like that they'll actually smoke cigars and watch us while they're smoking cigars. Really? And that's what we want. I mean, that's the whole that's thing. That's a novel of this. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Come into the lounge. This is the lounge. Every Tuesday night we have a get together of people, Herf and Turf. That's right. Here at the lounge. And we, uh, had, a, we had a wing dinger last night. You weren't here last I night. I wasn't here, no. We I was had, in LA. We had prime rib on the rotisserie, mm. on the Weber. Then I smoked up some bacon, and we cut the ribs off, you know, off the prime rib and smoked those up with the bacon. And there's none left. There's a little bacon in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking prime rib. Yeah, well. That's all gone. I yeah. mean, it's like a bunch of, it's like a pack of wolves in here when, there's one over there that's always first in line. That's true, we won't mention his name, but he's always first in line. Yeah, and then the pack just forms behind him, and then it's yeah. like, ah, 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 ah. That's true. It's like a... Yeah, and if you beat him to the punch, it, it kind of ruffles a little feather. Rattles him a little bit, he's, huh? Yeah, he's a little out of kilter the rest of the night. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But it's, uh, you know, and one thing I must mention, though, is the fact that when everybody's eating, it's the quietest time in the lounge possible. That's, that's true. Because everybody's mouth is full of food. That is very true. Yes. I mean, you get a few burps in here and there, but uh, most of the time it's just ow, ow, ow. That's true. It's always very good barbecue from <laughs> Barbecue Mike. Yeah. Or me or whoever. Mm hmm. Usually Mike. Yeah. Good stuff. It really is, yeah. So if you're ever in uh, SoCal and you need a night off from the family from Disneyland, come on by. Are you Lewinsky and Rocky? Yeah, I'm just. Or you're feeding the cigar. Stick right there. There you yeah. go, Rocky. And Nish, and I don't know the name of the third guy. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. But uh, <laughs> anyway. <So. laughs> yeah. We love you guys, though. We do. 
We appreciate on the show. You. Appreciate you tuning in every week. Actually, it'd be nice to have Rocky or Nish or whoever on the show and yeah, it's not gonna happen. Talk about <laughs> their cigars. We might get Ron, the lo local, uh, the regional, out here in the West. Never say never. Well, yeah. That's true, I guess. So that's what I feel about. It's just like bringing people in and, you know, and just having people come in and discuss their stuff. Not necessarily rated, but just come on in and talk about your stuff and yeah. what what makes you different from all the other people out there because there's yeah, so many what, different what cigars. What differentiates your cigars from everybody else's? Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of the viewers want to know that too. Like, okay, what makes this different from that and so on and so forth? And is there a curing process that you do differently or... What That's barrels true. do you use for whatever, what's your aging process, how long is it aged? So, <clears throat> yeah. That's why we're always inviting people into the lounge. Because we want to know. We do, and everybody out there wants to and know, A lot too. of the makers, I mean, some of the makers like, you know, Steve Saka or um, uh, Caldwell, Robert, mm -hmm. I mean, they're very open about what's, what tobaccos they're using, the percentages, you know, and they, they like to get into detail, especially Steve. I mean, they like, really like to get into detail about their, yeah. their blends and things. But then a lot of the cigars, they just tells you, you know, Ecuador, 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 and that's all you get. Well, I mean, that that's a huge, you know, big country and grows a lot of tobacco, so what yeah. exactly are we Well, there's some with cigar people out there that don't even tell you what it is. They just tell you how old the cigar is. They just say, oh, this is 15-year-old age tobacco, and it's from, well, we can't tell you. Yeah. And it's like... Okay, I get that. I mean, it could taste good or whatever it is, but I mean, the whole thing about smoking cigars is kind of learning what's going on with it and and uh, where it's from. And if you like that profile, maybe you'll try their cigars and maybe try some other cigars from the same region or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. It kind of sets me off, turns me off a little bit when people don't tell you at least where, what country it's from. Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of they're yeah, very big. What's, what's the big freaking secret? Yeah. Well, maybe some of them are even like you know, again, fooling our palates with. They don't. They don't. They don't have the secure inventory, so they're just fooling our palates with whatever they can get. You know, trying to anyway. Yeah, but maybe I that's mean, why. You know. uh, Caldwell, he lists all the. Well, he's got more stuff. secure supply. I mean, you know, some of these other makers may not have a secure supply, so they're just you know. Let's, we're out of this thing from Nicaragua. Let's grab this thing from Honduras. It's, it's similar, or Ecuador or whatever, you know. <clears throat> Maybe that's why. I'm just yeah. thinking, I'm just guessing. Well, just with this FDA thing, you have to really pretty much state what's in there and you have yeah, to use know. what's there and what it is. So it kind of puts an end to that, I think. I would, I would imagine, I don't know. I just well, like to smoke cigars. come on, I mean, you know, how are they gonna know? <laughs> that's true. They're gonna do a Cell test, Blind you know, testing. whatever, yeah, you know, deconstruct the cigar and, you know, they can't do that. I mean, it's going to be, FDA doesn't have that kind of money to throw around. Yeah. They're yeah. going to go by what they are told. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, um, what are you getting off the light? It's got this, like, kind of a... Um... I can't describe it. I have to like th really think about it. What's going on with this thing? Because um, there's a script. There's a flavor in there that um, I just can't put my finger on right now. I really right. can't. It's Wait. it's interesting. But it's not a real sweet cigar. No, there's a little sweetness in there. I'm getting a lot of vegetal off the beginning. And, yeah, and vegetal. Where I would say savory because I can't put my finger on what that savory note is. But it's a very savory or vegetal kind of a cigar. Right. In there. Yeah, you know, and I'm getting, you know, uh, some, car it's kind of caramely for me too. It's, it's got a like nice kind of caramely note to it. Caramely is a descriptor word, caramely. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But just getting a little bit of a burn issue though, though. It's just like. You have a burn issue? Yeah. Well, it's a pretty thick wrapper on this thing, so, you know. But the uh, the actual wrap is good. I mean, the, the ash is holding Yours nice. Yours is burning great. It's a beautiful ash on the thing, and it's kind of a zebra, you know, white and black zebra thing. But yeah. it's, you know, what rolled well, so. Yeah, it is, definitely. Nice draw. Absolutely. So, you know. Yeah, sometimes these thick wrapper cigars just kind of, the wrappers kind of do their own thing sometimes. 
I personally don't hold that against the cigar. Some people do. They get picky about, you know, even burn and stuff. But yeah. I just go by the taste usually, you know. Pretty much. I mean, if you get burn issues or whatever it is, and I mean, as long as it's not totally canoeing on you or whatever it mm -hmm. is, you can touch it up and smoke the thing and and uh, and experience a cigar. So, yeah, I'm with you. I really, I'm not a fanatic about burn issues unless it becomes a major problem and you're having to touch the thing up like all the time and uh, it won't smoke or whatever. I smoked a cigar the other day that just, it was so moist that it was, um, there was no flavor because it, it, I was trying to draw it and get smoke out of it and I just couldn't get anything and mm. all I was getting was just like a bitter flavor on my palate. And it wasn't until the last third that the cigar actually it dried out and it actually, yeah, I could draw it. Yeah, yeah, it was really bizarre. I mean, because these cigars were like really, I mean, they were pretty expensive cigars. I'm not going to mention who makes them, but uh, they. Uh, Come on, Dave, tell us who it was. <clears throat> no? All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I'm going to give him a pass on that one. All right. I, bought, I went to his shop and I bought four. And he's one of the guys that doesn't tell anybody where this, the tobacco is from. And this, the tobacco is, is aged from anywhere from seven years up to 20 years so old tobacco. So a local guy that, that makes his own? Yeah, they have their own niche and everything like that. Okay. So, and... Um, Not niche, but niche. They have their own niche, yeah. So I'm gonna give him a pass on that one. And I've got three more than I got sitting in the humidor just to, to wick out and get some of that moisture out of there so that I can smoke them and kind of rate them and see how they are. But. Right on, man. Yeah. Well, we're gonna, we go. we're gonna, we're gonna burn this thing down. It's, it's really coming along nicely. Though. It's a really nice cigar. So we'll burn these down and uh, see you in the review section. Welcome back to the Smoking Grill Lounge, where we are reviewing the Rocky Patel 20th Anniversary Rothschild. 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 That's fun to say, Rothschild. Kind of like when it, what is it? It's Rothschild candies or something like that, right? Rothschild. Yeah. Rothschild. So, what did you get on this cigar, Dave? All right, I'm gonna just break it down for you right here. So the beginning was herby and nutty with lots of smoke. <clears throat> I had that burnish in the beginning, but. Um, and then after that, I just flipped it over and let it burn down. It was great. Um, and the second that some beans started to come up, um, it was still herby and nutty um, toward the in the beginning, kind of spicy. Um, it was salty. It got salty on the tongue and lips um, with a little bit of earth toward the middle of the second third. And then the, the last third, um, there was lots of beans, actually. Uh, it was still herby, but it was waning. Um, the spice was still there, and it actually got a little bit more peppery back here, too. Very nice. But uh, it was good, because I only kind of reminded me of smoking some of those uh, pre-embargo cigars. Um, I didn't have to tug on it real hard. We kind of kept up on the uh, smoking, too, which was good. You mean actual pre-embargo cigars, not the uh, Drew Estates pre-embargo? Right. Some of the stuff that I smoke, like, from the 50s. Yeah. And stuff like that. Even some of the 60s and 70s stuff that I've smoked, too, just that's older, that don't herby, have to tug on it so hard. too, like a little bit? Well, just, I mean, the smoke-wise. Oh, I see. Profile-wise, yeah. not the same. Oh, okay. um, well, with the beans, yeah, that, but. Just the, just the way it drew. It the drew way it drew, smoke, too, yeah. so it was nice. So I didn't have to really, you know, drag on it to get a lot of smoke, which is good, and it's very creamy. Yeah. Was yeah. that Humidor 2 that's got the 1950 Cubans, or is it Humidor 3? I get confused <sighs> sometimes, which lots you have there. Probably the second and third humidor has some of that stuff in there. The first one um, has a lot of just kind of mainline stuff in there. Like what? Like, uh, I don't know, like P2s and Oh, mainline, that kind, that kind of mainline. Mainline, yeah, mainline Cubans, yeah. Yeah. But I do have some um, sharks in there, um, some snake oils. We have. I still owe you a snake oil. Oh yeah, that's right. 
crowned heads. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Well, you know, I was kind of getting the same kind of stuff out of it, you know. I was getting the, this kind of, it was it was a little spicier for me throughout, like as far as the kind of that white pepper on the tongue thing. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I was getting definitely getting some umami throughout. And uh, it was kind of chocolatey on the aroma a little bit. And, uh, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's a great cigar. Um, burn time was what, about an hour? Something like that. Hour and ten or something like that. We we kind of stretched out a little bit. Y M M V. Y M V. That's right. Because we haven't come up with the uh, algorithm yet. The no. Uh, whatever. This, we the, will uh, one of these days. Calculation for. Uh, or we'll just have to go on somebody's site and see what it is. This is about a ten dollars cigar. So what are you going to rate this thing? Um, I would have to give it an eight. Actually, an eight for ten dollars cigar. Yeah, for ten. Yeah. It was ten bucks and. Um, it it was good. It, it delivered. I think it was. I mean, I'm not a, uh, one that smoked a lot of Rocky Patels. Um, we have smoked one, another one on the show, but as far as it goes for this, it was pretty solid. Medium, like uh, medium strength cigar, kind of medium plus body on there. Yeah. It was good. Very yeah. creamy though, as you can see. Yeah, I'd say for the uh, the interesting flavors that were rendered and the uh, creaminess of the smoke, I, I like. You know, it was great smoke play. Um, yeah, I'll go with Exolidate on this thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think uh, if you can pick these up, definitely pick yeah. them up. Yeah, pick them up. Great cigar. Highly recommend. Social media, Smoky Grill Lounge for uh, YouTube and Google Plus and Facebook. And Twitter is Smoking Gorilla. So make sure you watch, comment, subscribe, like, all that, yada, yada, yada. Very nice. All right. Well, with that, we'd like to thank you all for joining us for the uh, Rocky Patel 20th anniversary Rothschild. This has been Eric and Dave bringing the truth to the world. One cigar at a time. Thanks for watching.